let's go and discuss about this one another question in the cds it can be the important question none of the question ignored from the cds cds is very important all the questions is very important over here can cds be bob ford like just and table can cds be bob ford like just a table yes yes using the annotation cds can be also bob ford like just a table what is the annotation here you can see at the rate above catalog dot buffering dot you have the three types of you know uh, attribute over here for the buffering so what are the three types of buffering we have you know so first it will just tell what kind of buffering you have right type your buffering is switched off or switched on and number of key fields so whenever we have the buffer enabled there are three main attributes we have what kind of buffering where whether your buffering is enabled or not and the third is the key field if you remember in the sc11 when we go into the technical setting and if you want to enable the buffer the three uh, three important properties we have to take care if you want to enable the buffer if you want uh, what kind of buffer you want to set and the third one number of key fields so here you can see the number of key fields a status means switched off or switched on and the what kind of buffering you have so there are how many types of buffering we have can you write over here in the chat box how many types of buffering we have how many types of buffering we have so we have three types of buffering right single decor generic and full buffering so here also on the type here at uh, here you can see that has none is given but actually it is having four uh, three more values single generic and full okay just i have taken the screenshot if you just go after the type colon and if you give the control space it will just show the another value sing uh, single generic and full so all the three option you can select in the uh, when when you're writing the annotation at that time you can select another question over here when we create the custom cds is it possible to have sql view name not a starting with y or z okay very interesting right very interesting just give your answer over here so suppose you are creating a cds right suppose if you are creating a cds so when you are creating a cds you must have to give the sql view name right so when you are going to give the sql view name is it necessary to be started with custom name space that means is it necessary to be started with a y or z that is the question is it necessary to be started with a y or z give the answer over here experienced people who have developed the cds have you have you focused yeah so without way or without y or z without y or z we can right very good without y or z it is possible no need of giving the custom name space here you can see that so this is the question over here just write down the question when we create the custom cds is it possible to have sql view name not starting with y or z yes yes not necessary to have the sql view name starting with y or z refer below so th this is the you know this is the screenshot here you can see that i have created one cds j test and the sql view name i have given test over here it is not starting with z or y and i was able to activate successfully okay i have i was able to activate successfully so from this uh, activity i came to the conclusion that sql view name is not necessarily to be started with y or z whereas can you tell me this name here the cds view name okay this is also name known as a structural object name stol uh, stob stob okay this is also known as a structural object name okay so this j test here so but generally we tell cds view name this one j test so here the question is is it possible to write the cds view name without z or y right here your answer in the chat box no not possible yeah so cds view you cannot start with z uh, you cannot 
uh, start without Z or Y, you must have to give the custom name space. The customer name space is required over here. Okay. Why?